It's another Tom's Take Food, Spirits, and Takeout here on the West Side. We're at Smoke and Pig. We've been here before, but now we've returned because of the expansion of Brian Torok, our owner here. But first of all, our co host, Gary Snellenberger. How are you doing today, Snelly? As always, Mr. Positive Teddy Turzian. Hey. You look spring like with that uh, know, very look cool at this weather. I know, it's spectacular. Brian Tork, so, thanks so much for having us out here at your great establishment. This is unbelievable. Last time we were here, this was just it, right? Now you've got my god, you got a sports bar going on here. Look at the TVs. My God, this is awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, we added another uh, about 44 seats total. 12 at the bar, 32 okay. in here. Uh, the, behind me, the patio. That's I see open. that. We haven't used. We used a little bit of tail end of last year because we opened up in late July. Um, but we got a little bit of use out of it. Right. Before. We'll start cranking it up this year. So what was the motivation just to have you know to have the sports theme and everything like that and get people to more mainly, space? It was mainly just to get uh, a bar, some alcohol going because people were asking for it. So we needed to fill that need. Okay. Um, so that was a big motivator, right? So, yeah. And we had to find a way to keep business, to grow the business and bring more people in. So the best way to do it was... In the bar. Yeah, yeah, I, lo I love your I bar. Work. I love everything. I mean, you had some fine work done in here, and it's it's inviting. And, it, it, and from a, you know, the the decor and everything, it blends really nice. Absolutely. And, uh, and it, it's small enough where it's still, you know, the yeah. families come in, and sometimes, you know, they'll come over here because it's not really a loud bar, right? It's more, it's still a family restaurant, but with a bar um, on sporting events, you know, Lions games, and it oh, was yeah. mostly fans, right? It wasn't yeah. family so much, but. During the week, on the weekends, you know, people come on in and they feel comfortable bringing the family in here, or they'll eat over here on this side, more of a restaurant side. Well, you, you know? got a lot of great West Side people in the city of Lansing, including this guy Ted Terzian, living a stone's throw from here. So I take it you come over here, you and Beth come over here and Absolutely. partake in this great this cuisine. This is one of our favorite places to pick up stuff. You know, the barbecue, the barbecue chicken, the, the chicken salad. Is phenomenal. it? And the, the ribs, everything. But I will tell you, you know, now with this. To go along with that great food, you come in here, you can watch one of your favorite games on these unbelievable TVs. Yeah, you just have a great time. It's just so it's amazing in here. Love we it. got uh, the Lenten fish fry started up yeah. uh, this week. Okay. So we got that going on every Friday. It'll start on Wednesday. It'll, you know, Ash Wednesday, but uh, yeah, every Friday we'll have our fish fry going until. March, end of March, March 24th, I think. So. Okay, well, Snelly, nothing. I mean, you live on the east side like I do, but you, hey, you don't hesitate going on all points to Greater Lansing for great food, and this looks like a great establishment for you to venture to. Yeah, you know, I can uh, attest to the uh, moated mac and cheese. <laughs> you know, Gary loves mac and cheese. The ribs, that always seems the, to come up. You, you know what the bomb is? Are the turkey wings. Turkey wings. Turkey wings. We had those the last time we were here. Turkey ribs. Turkey ribs. Turkey I'm sorry. Ribs. Okay. Out of this world. And they're about this long. Uh, they're just fantastic. They're not a speck of fat. It's a, it's a, they're just a real small, thin bone in between the scapula bone from your shoulder. But okay. tender, smoky. I mean, the flavor is oh, unbelievable. Yeah, they've got yeah. some great flavors. Four or five different brands of flavors, you know, uh, their own mixes. Uh, this is... Uh, this is uh, I don't want to use that term. This is very, very nice. Yeah. This is yeah. very nice. It's one of the only sports bars on West Saginaw now. That's you know true. I mean, this this part is. It's not yeah. labeled a sports bar, but this part right here is one of the only sports bars on West yeah. Saginaw. Yeah. Well, we, where anybody in here counts, you know what I mean? It's not overly overwhelmingly I mean, big. They've they got kids' food, mom and dad, grandma and grandpa food. they got it all. Okay. You know what? You don't need tea to eat their meat. <laughs> Okay, we got our we got our specialties from these two guys. Okay, what from your customer base, Brian? What, what seems to be the most popular entree that people go to? What's the go-to, or is it, oh. or is that just all over the place? It is. I mean, you know, we, we start up with loaded fries. People love those. Oh our, God, our, I love that. Pulled pork nachos are huge. The so people really like those. They love our tacos. That we do the pulled pork tacos at lunchtime. We do it at dinner. Um, but but across the board, yeah, I guess because we have so many variations of pulled pork, it's from a percentage basis, that's what carries the highest dollar amount of mm -hmm. pulled pork. But we've got three or four things that come off of that, the nachos, the loaded mac and cheese, uh, pulled pork sandwich dinner, so, um, but yeah. So Brian, we, 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 in this four year running series that Teddy and Snelly and I have been doing, uh, food spirits and takeout, we run into a lot of owners. It's frustrating business you're in, but what keeps you in it 
What what makes this a great career for you to be involved in food providing business, for lack of a better term? Yeah, I'm in the back end of the business, so I'm doing it for the love of my family, right? I'm doing it to, to leave a legacy for my son Dave. He's okay. the pit master. That's right. And Forgot about that. My other almost son Steve, Steve Fountain, he's one of the owners. And we just brought Carissa Reese, Dave's significant other, okay. in as an owner too. So those three do it just for the love of of cooking and, and the smoking, right? That's Dave and Steve, and, and Carissa's always been behind a bar working with folks, so they, they just love it. You, you know? gotta have passion if you're gonna have if you're gonna have product that's worth coming to. And now yeah. this obviously a great example of that. And this is Elmwood, right? At, and uh, Elmwood Road, just mm -hmm. off Saginaw, just uh, east of Meridian Mall, just east of Saginaw, Saginaw, right across, or from Lansing Park. Mall. Yeah. That east side yeah. stuff just keeps trickling into me. Sorry about that. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, right across from Best Buy, uh, right across from the Lansing Mall. Yeah, and your hours? Hours are, in fact, we're going to keep them the same now for sure. Okay. We're going um, Tuesday through Thursday, 11 until 9, Friday, Saturday, 11 until 10, and then Sunday from noon to 8. Okay. Closed on Mondays. And we'll hit the website here. Also, we'll have this on our YouTube channel as well. So appreciate you having us out. Thanks, man. It's been awesome, Brian. All right, Snelly. Terrific so job as always. Right here. Yeah, there you go. Teddy just wants to support his tummy. He wants. He's, he's hungry. We're going to order up. That's right. Till next time on Tom's Take Food, Spirit, and Takeout.